For three years, between 30th of May 2013 and 30th of May 2016, householders will be able to build larger extensions without the need for applying for full planning permission. These larger extensions will be allowed under permitted development or your PD rights. These rules will not apply to extensions of more than one storey or to side extensions. The size limits will double the depth of extensions allowed from 4 metres to 8 metres for detached houses and from 3 metres to 6 metres for all other houses. These larger extensions are also allowable in the Greenbelt and in conservation areas. These new, larger extensions must go through the following process. Firstly, a homeowner or his agent must notify the local planning authority and provide a written description of the proposal. The notification to the council must also include a plan of the site showing the proposed development, the addresses of any adjoining properties, including those at the rear. There is no fee payable to the council. Secondly, the local authority may ask for further information about the impact of the development on the amenity of adjoining properties. Third, the local authority will then serve a notice on adjoining owners or occupiers. Neighbours will have at least 21 days to object. Fourthly, if any adjoining neighbour raises an objection within the 21 day period, the local authority will take this into account and make a decision about whether the impact on the amenity of all adjoining properties is acceptable. Fifthly, the development can go ahead if the local authority notifies the developer that either no objections were received or that the effect of adjoining properties is acceptable. Alternatively, if the local authority does not notify its decision within 42 days, then the development may go ahead. If the application is refused, you have a right to appeal. The development must accord with the following limitations and conditions. The extension must be completed on or before the 30th of May 2016 and the homeowner must notify the local authority in writing of the date of completion. No more than half the area of land around the original house must be covered by additions or other buildings. No extension is to be higher than the highest part of the roof of the house. The maximum height of a single storey rear extension is 4 metres. The maximum eaves height of an extension, where it is within 2 metres of the boundary, is 3 metres. The maximum eaves and ridge height of the extension must be no higher than the existing house. External materials, that's bricks and tiles etc, must be similar in appearance to those on the existing house. These rights do not include verandas, balconies or raised platforms. And finally, in a conservation area, there can be no use of cladding for the exterior of the building. Thanks for listening. We're Tyler Parks and please get in touch with us if you need any further information.